has won every award known to man for science teachers, and we are so fortunate to have him as our resident scientist on Lifestyle Live, Rick Crossland, here with a lesson on color and light this morning. And I gotta say, if I had you as my science teacher, I probably wouldn't be this dumb. So I I learn something every time you're here, though, and it makes me realize just how fortunate kids are when they've interacted with you because you make it so interesting, so fun, and I'm excited to learn today. You have lots of questions. I have lots of questions, and so I never say the D word. You you know, (laughs) it's it's questions, and and I'm always trying to figure things out, like, why is the sky blue? Yeah. I I remember my daughter, uh, she's grown now with her own kids, I asked me, hey, Dad, can you take us where the sky is always red? You know, you see the the sun? Mm -hmm. So... There's no such thing as a dumb question, really. Uh, just try to ask questions about the world. Being and curious. so people have done that forever and will continue. And one of my heroes, uh, Isaac Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, mm-hmm. he studied light. He probably one day thought, why is the sky blue? Why is it not orange or, or green? And he studied that. And his big, big hint was a rainbow. When you look at a rainbow, you see seven colors Mm -hmm. and a science teacher like Roy G. Biv red orange yellow green blue indigo violet and they're always in that order and those come from a prism and Isaac Newton actually used a prism and he saw that white light coming through can be split into the different colors of the rainbow Mm -hmm. and those are part of a fancy thing called the electromagnetic spectrum which is a fancy word that energy from the sun and all this comes from the sun but we only can see this little part right here visible light that's white inside of our eyes we have these things called rods and cones and the cones show us color but it gets really kind of weird but i like this with kids to try different things like if you have food coloring at home Mm -hmm. you can put that in the water in a flashlight and make colors you may not have these fancy uh different color palette uh little paddles here that Mm -hmm. make green and red and and blue but these three colors i I picked these rgb have you ever heard rgb yeah in the tv industry you guys uh and on your computers if you go home and look at your computer screen or your television up close, you're going to see three little RGB dots. Mm -hmm. And from these three colors, we can make all the colors that you see on the television. And together, they all make white. I I did some kind of fancy here. Uh, I have these three monitors. I don't know if we can see those right there. Uh, These, we have uh, uh, three of them down here. I'll turn this one on. Is that okay? I'll turn this one on. There we go. And here's my blue one. And so here's RGB. And Isaac Newton discovered this, but this is what's so cool. If I put my hand right here, you see all the different colors. Isn't that kind of cool? This is a fun thing to do. Of course, it's been a while since you've seen an overhead projector, I bet. (laughs) I love it. It's bringing back memories from elementary school. So here's our red, green, and blue. And uh, televisions and monitors use these. These get excited, and that's how we get all of our colors. And look at look at all your different shadows, and you get cyan, you get yellow. And I, I got to tell you a little cheat. I, I couldn't find my yellow today, so I used this one. I don't know if you can see this one right here. Uh, see my, uh, gr- I couldn't find my green, so I had so to make you mixed- it. Oh! So my blue and my yellow. I love, uh, my son has these little bathtub tablets. So every yes. time he's in the bathtub, we put different colors in to see what colors they could make. And it's it's a really cool tool. For him to learn what colors. What colors? Make. Here's something else he could do. This is the Newton wheel. Isaac Newton, like if you, t- these are the colors, but if you spin this, you get back to white. Yeah. And so I like to make these with kids. These little whirl gigs. You can uh, uh, color it and do some spinning to see so how fine. this works. And um, one thing though that <clears throat> that's to me is pretty amazing. I think there's a picture we have of Isaac Newton in his bedroom in his lab splitting light that uh, is really kind of a cool thing sunlight coming in on his wall oh, there it is there it is i actually went to that room at his house and there was a prism laying there and of course i had to do it mm-hmm. just to say i did it but let me show you something that's, that i think is pretty amazing we use colors to understand chemicals so when you see a star far away or the atmosphere of a planet the color on the electromagnetic spectrum can tell us what that atmosphere is made of. Oh. So I have here s- several different chemicals. We've got to put our goggles on here. Okay. And each of these, each of these colors, I have some clear fuel. But when I ignite it, 
you can see the different color there. Oh, red. There's red. So uh, there's a red color, and because that is cool. And then this one is uh, some sodium. This is actual salt, and that's yellow. And one of my favorites, of course, is uh, some copper. So if we see these different colors, you could tell you, uh, us what is in that atmosphere, and wow. and and we can study that because we know the elements that get excited with energy and what color they make. I think it's amazing that you look at a star millions and millions of miles away and you can tell what the atmosphere is by how the light shows up on the electromagnetic spectrum. That is so neat. Let's close that up. And there was also this other guy. Green yeah, fire was cool. The blue fire is cool. There was a guy, you've probably heard of him, I've talked to him about, named Tesla. And he made a Tesla coil. If I can get my little coil going here. And I think that's going, yes. And so same thing happens. We can get light to get excited. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's turning. There's uh, argon, which is purple. Oh, my goodness. And over here, and I'm not even touching it because Tesla wanted us to have a system where we don't use wires. you got to see this this part, right? That's yes. The part that that's the so argon gas. The camera up. Getting excited. See that there. there see you go. Purple. And then here is another gas. This is Krypton. <laughs> it really is Krypton, and it's white right there. Yeah. And so these are so all cool. ways to understand our world and seeing right. lights and color. We're and running out of time, fun. so real quick on this one. Different wavelengths. This one's just a fun thing. To that have is fun. With different colors, and it has a wave because these are wavelengths, and we can see only the RG. B, Roy, G, Biv. Next time you see a sunset, it'll go in that order. Orange, and then you'll see, sometimes you might see the red and the blues, but very quickly. Colors are all around you. I love it. There you and go. when your son or daughter inevitably asks you why the sky is blue, just yeah. play this video back, <laughs> because I could never re repeat everything you just said. But I feel like I understand it better now. I think I could come up with a better answer Or better than questions. Better questions. Yes. Ask the good questions. <laughs> Nobody's dumb, even though I like to joke. Don't say that. He gets so mad at me, Cody. He's like, homework. you're not dumb. You're just not asking the right question. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice way of saying it.